Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic flickering light. And with dynamic I mean you're not going to use the set or auto key uh, buttons here. We're really going to uh, go a little bit deeper into 3ds Max. It doesn't really matter which version you use. I'm using 2010 but you can also do this well as far as I know back to 3ds Max 9. Well, let's get started. As you can see, I have this uh, plane with this teapot on it. Let's cl create a light. Uh, it doesn't matter if you use a target light or free light. Uh, sorry, target spot or free spot. Well, let's create this light here. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply a noise modifier on this light. Now, you can do that by right-clicking on your light. You have to select it and go to Curve Editor. You can also just select your light and then go to the Curve Editor button uh, if you have this uh, taskbar here. Let's expand that. And you can see that the spot is being placed here in the, uh, in the hierarchy. You see here Object Target Spot. You click on that and you can see the multiplier effect. Uh, we're going to assign the... sorry click on the multiplier, right mouse button this time and click on assign controller. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to add the noise float. As you can see already we have these kind of uh, well these lines that go up and down that's the noise and how higher it is how more the light uh, shall be produced by the light and the lower it is the lesser light uh, the spot shot here. Um, some of the features you want to be looking into is this uh, selection here. If you choose that you say I don't want that light to go be uh, lower than zero so um, the strength and everything that's something you have to decide for yourself. Uh, the seed uh, when you see ramping in you see that the fade in and fade out can be uh, adjusted um, something, well, that's actually uh, pretty much it for the flickering lights tutorial. And as you can see when I move the time slider, you can see that the light changes um, and it doesn't go below zero. Uh, what the below zero actually does, it creates um, a dark light and we don't want to have that. Uh, you probably won't see it in this scene because it's very simple, but uh, in a very advanced scene you would have a dark light and that's something you uh, must uh, really don't want to have. Um, something else I want to show you. Uh, we go back to that spotlight here and we have this multiplier still selected. Right mouse button again. Assign control and this time click on float limit. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to set a max and a minimum value of how strong or how uh, less the light should be. Now you can see those values are very high. Uh, we want to set that between 8 and, well, let's say we're here on this scale. We're here, um, let's say just 1. So everything that's beneath this line here, this horizontal line, will be cut flat because we are going to specify we just want 1. You can adjust a little bit smoothing here, but but that's not something we're going to oh, we're going over in this tutorial. And as you can see, uh, we're not going lower than one, and we're not going higher than eight, which we didn't do in the first place. But you get the point. And once again, you can see a little about how, how that works. Well, let's say you're not entirely satisfied about how the noise uh, controller or the upper and lower limit controller are being applied. Of course you can adjust that. Um, for adjusting the upper and lower limit you select multiplier, right mouse button and click on properties. And here you have the property of the float limit controller window again. And for the noise controller you have to go one step down. Select it, right mouse button and then properties again and then you can adjust that um, I'm going to show you an example where we, where I've applied this lighting technique, this flickering lighting technique. It's this um, 
movie we've made called The Bloody Hallway, you can very good you can very good see how the flickering light is being applied into the scene. It's very easy to use and it doesn't take much time, so if I were you I would use this kind of technique. Well that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or suggestions or any other complaints, just ask us and we'd be happy to help you. You can check our website visualnights.com or have a look at our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Goodbye!